hi everyone and welcome back to finally finally haste kitchen where i actually have my kitchen where i can cook in it um we've got some haberdashery we've got a fridge we've got new counters we've actually got a floor at last we've got a ceiling so we can actually not have rain coming in on my head um we've got latest edition we've got a gopro up here which we're going to call the it's not really very unique but i quite like it it's the extractor fan cam yeah. Butcher's block, loads of close-ups going to go on here. And today, what are you going to be cooking? Hmm. Loads of you have been asking for curry dishes. Now, the, the, the best thing I can do is say to you, right, just go and get a curry sauce from Tesco's, Sainsbury's, other branded supermarkets. But what's better than making your own actual paste and own sauce? It's not hard. So we're going to do a red Thai curry sauce. But first of all, we're going to make the paste. Then I'm going to bring this video back again. We're going to do three variations. We're going to do pescatarian. So for you fish, lo fish up lovers, you fish lovers, you're going to absolutely love that. We're going to do meat dishes and we're going to do some vegetables. So it's all about the sauce in a curry. It doesn't really matter about what meat, tofu, vegetarian, pescatarian, it doesn't really matter what you put in there because it's all about that sauce first of all. Once you've mastered that, it's perfect. Now red Thai curry paste, you can buy from any supermarket. However, it is that easy to make. And what I do is store it in your fridge, put it in some ice cube trays, break it up and you can use it whenever you want. So let's get cooking. Right, ingredients. We have got some crushed garlic. I would say two cloves. I would say two teaspoons of peppercorns. Two teaspoons, maybe three teaspoons if you want to, of um, coriander seeds. Give it a lovely, fresh, fragrant flavour. We've got cumin seeds. Two tablespoons again. We've got four to five kaffir leaves. Kaffir leaves are basically a lime leaf. We've got a couple of limes. We've got um, a good amount of fresh ginger. So I would say about three teaspoons of fresh ginger. We've got some cilantro or some coriander, um, which we're just gonna use the stalks of, save the rest of the herb, we're gonna use that in the curry tomorrow. We've got some red chilies, I'm using Thai red chilies here. Got a couple of stalks of chili, uh, uh, lemongrass, and I've got some fresh red chili paste. That is all we need, so let's get cooking. Grab yourself a pestle of mortar. All we're gonna do in there is gonna put in our cumin seeds, We've got our coriander seeds and we are going to put in a little bit of our peppercorns. We've also got a little bit of, a, you can either use shallots or you can use um, a small red onion, absolutely fine. Loads of people are going to say, oh, you've got to use shallots, little red onions, absolutely fine. Um, and into that, we are going to literally start crushing these down. Now, when you're crushing seeds, the most important thing is, if you just do this, they're going to pop out everywhere. So cover your hand over the top, crush towards yourself, and just use a grinding motion, sounds rude, um, going downwards, worse, cross them around. And that's going to take about one to two minutes. You really want them to be really, really fine. Now, you want a food processor for this, really. You can do the whole thing in a mixing bowl. If you've got time and patience to just grind this down, it'll be absolutely fine. However, food processor, blitz it, it's going to work a lot quicker for you. So I'm going to crush these flavors from there. You've got the curry from the cumin sort of seeds coming through. You've got the, the whole um, coriander freshness, the vibrance coming through there. It's insane. And that's like 20 seconds of cooking and it smells better than any curry you've had. Right, that's ground down. Can you see that consistency there? Right, into your blender, you are gonna put seeds, first of all. You've got kaffir leaves here. Now kaffir leaves, as I say, are just lime leaves. Can you grab yourself a knife? The knife seems to have shrunk. Um, chop them up. Literally. Like that. Chuck it in your bowl, straight into your mixer. You have got your garlic going in. Now, a lot of people use shrimp paste in this. Now, I'm leaving out the shrimp paste, and what I'm gonna go for is a little bit of paprika. Gives it extra color, to give that vibrant red color that you get anyway with it. But shrimp paste, then counter the ducks, the whole three way of cooking this. So, um, it means I can still get you vegan or um, non-meat eaters, vegetarians, getting this cooked as well. 
gin going in. We've got some lime. Now, so lightly zest that. What I'm going to do is cut that in half. Squeeze that in. It's a nice sound effect, isn't it, eh? It's going to give it such a good citrus flavour and that and your coriander or your cilantro is going to be amazing on the palate. Right. Another line, so we're going to go for two of these. I like this quite citrusy. Um, it's up to you though. You can actually lower these um, amounts if you want it to be a little bit less lemon or limey, should I say, and citrus. Two of those going into the mix. That should be perfect. Right, we've got a chilli paste in. We have got the cilantro or coriander. Now, all I'm going to say is, as I said earlier, just literally just take off the stalk ends. Save that. You can use that tomorrow. It's up to you. You can also put a little bit of pinch of sugar in here if you want to. I'm not going to because I quite like the citrus flavour, but you can do. Right, going to get your, your onion. Chop that and put it in your food processor. You can pretty much roughly chop that. You're just going to rely on the processor to do the work on this one. So your muscles, give your arms a break. Now with your chilies, lemongrass, I'm literally going to stick this in half. I'm going to whiz that so it's so fine because it's a very, very, very woody um, root basically. So um, you really want it to be ground up as much as possible. Once it's sweated out with the coconut milk later with the curry tomorrow, it'll be lovely. Um, so your chilies, I like these hot. Now you can get dry Thai chilies like these. Okay, you can dry them off, you can warm them up and then soak them through and then wait 30 minutes for them to be done. But I haven't got time for this. I want this to be done literally so I can rest it and be fine to cook later on or tomorrow. So what I'm gonna do is take the chilies, take them just down the end. Be cautious with these little bad boys because they will, they will be quite hot. Take them out, chop it in half, stick it in. And we are good to blitz. Grab yourself a food bag, literally one of those into your food bag, maybe two, twist that round and stick that straight in the freezer. The rest of this, we've got about three to four scoops left. As you can see, I've hardly used any ingredients. That's going to make the perfect curry tomorrow. So hopefully, you're going to watch this all on Monday. I'm going to make this video live tomorrow, which is going to be a Friday. I hope you will enjoy. Subscribe, get friends to subscribe. Enjoy the videos, and I shall see you next week. Bye-bye, guys.